things on Debrillian have taken a turn. The kings put a death mark on Count Renald's head. When the citizens heard that, they rebelled. The king imposed martial law to stop the rioting. But that got the aristocracy riled up. The whole planet's going to war. Sounds like the Count's plan to avoid bloodshed by marrying you just went up in flames. We were never going to unseat the king without a fight. I just hoped we'd pick the time and place. Needless to say, the Count has his hands full just staying alive. But even with all that's happened, he still wants to marry me. I can't keep putting him off. Any advice how I should play this? Forget about the politics for a second. Do you love this guy or not? I barely know him. This isn't about love. I need to figure out what's best for my long-term plans. Oh, perfect. Time's up. That's him calling on the Hollow. All right. Let's do this. Merit, I'm glad you're safe. From what I hear, the fighting got worse after you escaped. I cannot spare De Brilliant from war, but perhaps we can still create a better future together. I realize forging a true relationship takes time, and our marriage won't be consummated for some time, but I am hopeful. My proposal stands, dear Risha. Will you marry me? Say yes. Hurry before you lose your nerve. Yes, I'll marry you. We'll make it official the old-fashioned way. Have your people bring me a written contract to sign. But let's not make it easy for the king to kill us. Until the war's over, we shouldn't meet in person. Agreed? I will continue to send you updates as I'm able. Dubrillion will be free. Farewell, my lovely wife. May the stars watch over you. Isn't he adorable? You make an adorable couple. I hope you're not expecting a gift on this short notice. You can owe us. I should probably do something to celebrate. Want to go steal something really expensive? I've been getting reports on the war for Debrillion. It's dragging into a stalemate. Nobody has a clear advantage yet. I want to get more involved with the war effort, but my allies tell me the best thing I can be is a symbol. Don't listen to those people. If you want to fight for your planet, just do it. Problem is, they're right. I'm a hundred times more effective as a rallying point for people who oppose the king. The minute I open my mouth and start talking politics, I risk losing support. I can't afford that right now. Guess I'm stuck on the sidelines until it's over. At least I have company. I've been thinking about the future a lot lately, and I had a funny realization. Every scenario I see, you're in it. I've never let myself get close to anyone. Not even my friends from the old days. Count Reneld may be my husband, but you are my family. Right back at you, Risha. I don't know what the future holds for us, but I promise to always be there. Not just for you, but everyone you care about. That's as mushy as I'm getting. Back to finding trouble. Yari Rook claims to lead his own clan. He destroyed my clan with his slander and then dares to raise up his mishmash of slavers and pirates and call them Clan Rook. And no one has challenged them. Maybe you can kill him twice. Twice is a mercy. This isn't even the worst of it. The man I was with when my people fell. His clan lost all honor after I left. They joined Clan Rook. My old lover dishonors the name Mandalorian. That coward dies with the rest of Rook's filth. Killing the man who betrayed your clan is one thing. Killing everyone who works for him seems a little extreme. 
If Rook's followers run like the cowards they are, they might survive. Rook's clan is on Hutta, bowing and scraping for the cartel. The scum have no discipline. Destroying their camp will be easy. When I'm finished, it will be as if Clan Rook never existed. I leave for Hutta immediately. You look, well, not exactly happy, less angry than usual. It's over. The filth who destroyed my clan and dishonored its name is dead. I'm guessing the real story is a little more complicated. Wouldn't mind hearing it. There was little to tell. It was violent and brief. Before he died, Rook confessed his crime. He destroyed my clan because the lie gained him a favorable contract with the Empire. He killed my people for profit, nothing more. The galaxy is no poorer without him. What about the people serving Rook? Your old lover. Did all those people deserve to die? They had no honor. The smart ones ran and survived. The foolish ones are fertilizing Hutta. That's great, but you can only kill your enemies once. Now what? Do you have another reason to live, or should you just space yourself right now and get it over with? I did what honor demanded without regret. I still have this ship. And you. I could not have avenged my people without the resources and opportunities you've provided. I will repay that debt, Captain. For the first time in months, I've allowed myself to think about the future. Someday this war must end. What will you do when the Sith Empire rules the galaxy? Will you transfer your loyalties to them? What if your profession is outlawed? Have you been following current events? The Empire is on the express hyperlane to nowhere. A Rancor becomes twice as deadly when it's backed into a corner. The only constant in life is change. A warrior prepares for whatever comes. Your talent for survival is impressive, Captain. But luck has its limits. I have no clan. And the man who destroyed it is dead. Without clan or foe, I am no longer a Mandalorian. But I am still a warrior. And great ones don't allow old age to take them. To die in battle, dragging many foes into the void. That is a good ending. What do you think, Captain? I was planning to live forever. It's not as flashy as your idea, but it works for me. I should have known better than to expect a serious answer from you. A warrior's end requires a worthy foe. We should keep fighting until we find ours. Tomorrow we die. Today someone else will. Ibatur Jatne Tura Shad Kiramor. I was wrong. Context, please? When I joined your crew, I told you I would never serve another's interests again. I could not trust anyone's purpose to suit my own. I was wrong. The longer I stay, the more loyalty I feel. There is nothing in my lifetime that could make me leave your side. You know, you're the kind of gal you know when she's mad, and you know when you've made her laugh. Master Lauren was just ice. You had no idea if he even knew you were in the room. If I could, I'd teach you what to do with that lightsaber. Oh, Captain. If you were my master, I might have practiced. Or at least not released the Kowakian monkey lizards into your dressing room. Maybe that was a bad plan. Captain, I just want to say thank you. I could never have imagined you would put up with me for this long. When I first came on board with you, I thought it was going to be a few weeks at most before you left me on some isolated moon. Once you're in my crew, you're family. Aw, oh, Captain. You'll make me cry. Seriously, though. This is my family. More than the Jedi. More than the one I was born to. 
I've never been able to be myself anywhere like I have with you. I'll never leave you. family too, Bodar. Please stand by for a priority communication from Supreme Chancellor Leontine Suresh of the Galactic Republic. Captain, congratulations again on your defeat of the Void Wolf. I require a moment of your time to discuss matters of galactic security. It isn't every day the leader of the Free Galaxy calls. How can I help you, Madam Chancellor? The Hut Cartel has invaded Republic space and seized the planet Makeb. We will respond to this unprovoked act of aggression in full force. My War Council will be convening on Keylander Station in the Makeb system. I ask that you join us immediately. I'll set a course for the Makeb system right now. Proceed to the conference chamber on Keylander Station. I'll meet you there. Please hurry. We must act quickly and decisively against the Hutt's aggression.
most cordial greetings. I am Zan Trilo, Republic Protocol Officer. Welcome to Makeb and Keylander Station. Please hold all questions. Supreme Chancellor Suresh and her delegation are arriving. I ask everyone here with me to honor this brave captain who thwarted an attack on the Republic by no less than an Imperial Grand Admiral. I doubt all these people came just to hear you flatter me, Chancellor. The situation on Makeb must be bad. The crisis we face is unexpected and severe. I require my best advisors and most able problem solvers. Victory over the Empire lies within our grasp. But first, we must face a cowardly act of unwarranted aggression. Supreme Commander Malcolm. Thirteen days ago, the Hutt Cartel violated Republic space and seized the planet Makeb. They've blockaded the system with 30 Ajur class heavy cruisers. Makeb's citizens have formally pledged to join the Republic if we respond to their crisis. We will not abandon them to the Hutt's brutality. If we're willing to fight the Hutt Cartel for control of a planet that's been neutral up until now, we must have good reason. Makeb is a paradise. Quality of living standards significantly above the galactic average. Thriving mining and tourism industries. A world worth saving and having. Severe atmospheric conditions on Makeb make large-scale troop landings impossible. We need help from local resistance forces to pull this off. One of Makeb's business leaders, Shalem Avesta, is awaiting you on the surface. I want you working closely with him. I'm surprised the planet's army didn't put up a fight. Or did the Huts defeat them? Makeb's entire military strength came from hired mercenaries. The Huts simply bought them off. Liberating Makeb is your top priority, but I want the Huts' ambitions ended permanently. Grandmaster Satil Shan has insight regarding our enemy's future plans. The Jedi Council has meditated on the cartel's actions. We believe that Makeb is a staging point for a larger attack on the entire galaxy. The Huts will not be allowed to expand their dominion at our expense. It's always an honor to face down the enemies of the Republic, Madam Chancellor. When our enemy realizes who they're facing, I predict a hasty retreat. A shuttle will transport you to Shalem Avesta's encampment on the surface. Go now, and show the galaxy the Republic is not to be trifled with. You're one of the Republic heroes come to free my homeworld. You're just... <laughs> wow. I wish we'd joined the Republic ages ago. When you stand with the Republic, it stands with you. We'll protect you from the Huts, the Empire, and anyone who threatens your freedom. That means a lot. The past two weeks have been a nightmare. I was here when the Huts blocked all of McKeb's comm channels. Haven't been able to get a signal from my family since. No idea what's happened down there. There's only one way to find out. Fire up that shuttle's engines. Don't know if they told you, but, uh, McKeb's atmosphere's a real mess. Most ships get torn to bits by electrical storms on entry. My baby's got special ion shields to absorb the electromagnetic interference, but we're still in for a rough ride. Hopefully we won't land in little pieces. How did the cartel conquer your planet if most ships can't even get through the atmosphere? Our politicians figured, why draft an army when you can hire mercenaries? We bought the best. Bunch of hard cases called the Interstellar Regulators. But the Huts didn't bother fighting them. They bought off the Regulators with a bigger bid. Ask Shalem of Vesta. He'll tell you. My shuttle's prepped. Hop aboard and we'll be on our way. I want to take your anti-nausea stims, too. Do you know when we can go back to our homes? I can't get a straight look.
I know you, sir. I worked at one of your mines last month. Can't say I like the hours you made us pull. But it doesn't matter if we can't go home, huh? Look, I'll let you know when I hear anything. I promise. Welcome, Captain. I'm Shalem Avesta. The Supreme Chancellor says you're one of the Republic's foremost experts on the Hot Cartel. My family helped found Macab. Avesta Mining has led our business council for decades. I was practically chief of state before the cartel's takeover. It wasn't an easy decision. But if joining the Republic is the only way to reclaim my home world's freedom, so be it. Personally, I would have offered the Republic a little less than your whole planet. How do a high roller like you get suckered into this deal? Supreme Chancellor Suresh required a full commitment to the Republic. Given the circumstances, I couldn't refuse. Ilosov is a former mercenary with the Interstellar Regulators. Until recently, McKeb's trusted private army and police force. Quit when the Regulators sold out to the Huts. I don't betray a client for credits. Exceptions like him notwithstanding. The cartel bought off the Regulator forces and turned our former protectors against us. A coup of this scale doesn't happen overnight. The Huts must have had these mercenaries in their pockets for months. Some regulators started doing side jobs for the cartel a while back. They're all in command positions now. I still don't know why this has happened. We've conducted peaceful business with the Hut cartel for years. Casualty and damage reports coming in. Talao City got rattled pretty hard, but no injuries. Lucky. That's the fifth ground quake since the Hut's takeover. The last one leveled the Tigan mining colony. They're still pulling bodies from the rubble. These ground quakes started after the Huts invaded? Doesn't sound like a coincidence. You aren't the first to voice that thought. My niece Lemda is a respected geophysicist. She joined our resistance to prove there's a link between the ground quakes and the Huts' deep core mining. She was taking seismic readings on a deserted mesa when a whole company of regulators swarmed in. We lost contact with her. I sent search parties to bring Lemda back. But they aren't trained or equipped to fight a mercenary force of that size. I have a feeling your niece discovered something, and the Hut sent the Regulators to stop her from getting away. That's my fear as well. Getting reports from our search parties. Dozens of Regulators have pushed them back to the landing zone. We lose that, we'll never find Lemda. The situation's grim. The odds are against us. And the bad guys have the numbers. Good thing you got me. Either Chancellor Suresh has a cruel sense of humor, or you're not just a hut expert. I hope you make good on that boast. Take my personal shuttle to Friend Mesa. Lane Farrow is our man at the landing zone. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Shalom Avesta sent us. You're in charge here? Reinforcements. We're saved! Prosk, it's... Just get over here! Speak up, Lane. Not sure the whole Mesa heard you. My name's Prosk, in case Slick here didn't enunciate clearly. Kid's an accountant. Barely knows which way to point a blaster. Can't say I'm much better. Used to be a mining foreman. 
We've set up barricades, but they're not doing much against the regulators. What's the plan, boss? Just keep firing until all the bad guys fall down. It helps if you aim, but that really isn't necessary if there's enough targets. Keep an eye on this one, Slick. Might learn something. Scouts report regulators headed this way. Big group. Everyone's manning a barricade. Um, find one and dig in. I didn't know anyone could shoot that fast. The regulators never had a chance. I'll drink to that, Slick. Those mercs will think twice about hitting us again. We owe you one. Saving people is sort of my second job. Actually, it's more of a hobby. Doesn't pay as well as you'd think. If it did, I bet you could retire. Shalem sent you to find Lemda, right? Bring back his geo... whatever niece in her research. We haven't had much luck there. Her campsite was ransacked. The regulators must have already captured her and confiscated all the research data. Shalem's right. She found something important. This just became a rescue mission. If the regulators have Lambda, where would they take her? Scanners indicate no one except you has landed on or left the Mesa since the regulators came. That means she's still here. Probably at one of their camps. Great. There's half a dozen camps and no way to pinpoint which one she's at. Have to keep hitting them until she turns up. How big and well defended are the mercenary camps? I'm guessing our enemies aren't sitting around roasting brabolos and singing. All we know is the regulators dropped a whole mess of men here with who knows what firepower. A few of our search parties never made it back. You find any other prisoners, send them here. Someone here might know how to slice the regulators' comm frequency and find out what they're doing. Ask around, Prosk. Slick takes charge with his big brain. On it, boss. We'll hold this landing zone as long as it takes. Good luck.
Red team, come in. This is Vice Commandant Grevin. We've scanned heavy fire in your zone. Status report. Everything's jolly. Give up the lady scientist and it'll stay that way. The girl's charged with treason against Macab's rightful government. You just proved her guilty. You're outnumbered by troops who have run ops in 30 systems. Our victory rate is 100%. You got lucky this time. It won't happen again.
You should have taken the hint. I command the regulators, and I've got plenty of reinforcements to throw your way. Now they're angry. I know you have a hearing problem, but seriously, give up the scientist. Hear this, you low-rent spacer. You're dead. My regulators will hunt you down. It's Trosk, you read? We sliced the Merc's comm network. Hearing all kinds of interesting chatter. Whatever you're doing, it's paying off. The Mercs have pulled back. The landing zone's all ours. Dig in and be ready, in case they come back. Understood. We'll keep listening to the Mercs' bellyache, too. Might learn something we can use. Keep up the pressure. Ross, come in. We've taken out multiple regulator camps. Still no sign of Lambda. Scouts report you've got those mercenaries chasing their own tails. Lambda has to be nearby. I'll take some men out and cover more ground. Think you're clever? Killing my people? Slicing our comm channel? Every time you hit us, the huts crack down even harder on the nice people of Makeb. They're dying because of you. If there's any justice... I'll get to drop you naked into an angry mob of those nice people you're killing. There's no justice, Captain. You of all people know that. Make your peace while you can.
Prosk, do you read? Another camp down and still no Lemda. Any luck on your end? Hang on. Getting a distress call. It's her! Patching through! Blast! Is this stupid thing working? Hello? Hello? We read you, Lemda. Your uncle sent a rescue team. The Republic's here. Look! Shalem didn't send more? We're enough. Give us your coordinates and we'll get you to safety. My guards abandoned their posts and left me alone. You must be the murdering scum they went after. I broke free and ran to the nearest quake shelter. I'm the only person here. Sending you coordinates. Don't move. The Mesa is crawling with regulators. Stay put and let us come get you. I'm not setting foot out there. Wait, what was that noise? Is that on your end? Ah, <sighs> lost her. They're blocking her signal. My team's close to that quake shelter. Meet you there. You got a lot of my friends killed today. Grevin said I could return the favor. She deserves better odds. New deal. We walk out of here, and you run back to the huts with your tails between your legs. We're already earning enough from this job to retire. Once you're dead, we can do it in style. The shelter's collapsing! We have to get out! Last chance, fellas. Drop your weapons, and you might get out of here alive. Kill them! Way to die. Let's go. There's never been a ground quake like that in McKeb's history. Geologic instability has increased a thousandfold since the hut takeover. Seismic readings and core stability fluctuations both indicate impending catastrophe. These ground quakes are the direct result of hut deep core mining that's going to destroy Makeb. The moment they sent the regulators here, it was obvious the huts had something to hide. Now their secret's out. Every scrap of data I collected here proves 
The Hut Cartel's deep drilling has destabilized Makeb. These groundquakes are only the start. Entire mesas will collapse. After that, gravitational decay will strip away the atmosphere. Kill everything. Makeb will become totally uninhabitable. So much for my vacation plans. How do we get off this rock while we can still breathe? I am not writing off my home world. Not if there's a way to stop its destruction. I think there's a way to save Makeb, but I need you to work with me. I'll warn you now. I'm snappish. Everyone says so. It's not personal. I'd say you're handling yourself just fine under the circumstances. My family is full of politicians. They say this is my way of rebelling. Did I mention I'm the one who convinced Uncle Shalem to contact the Republic? You're welcome. You made it! We followed Prosk's signal and... W where's Prosk? I'm sorry. He didn't... he's gone. He gave his life saving Lemda. The best way to honor that sacrifice is by continuing the fight. I know. I will. We'll get her back to Shalem. If there's a clear path back to the landing zone, thanks to you. Meet me at Uncle Shalem's office. We need to figure out a plan. Fast. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Is nothing, Uncle. I've run the numbers. Two days, maybe less. And your office is at the bottom of a sinkhole. At least your expensive education has finally amounted to something. Told you I'd repay that loan. Bet you're wishing you'd listened to me sooner, not dismissed me as a loudmouth conservationist. Captain, come in. Lambda told me of your incredible heroics. I'm impressed. We suspected Makev was becoming unstable, but I had no idea things were this bad. We never should have let the Hut Cartel establish their mining operation. I didn't realize the Cartel set up shop on your world before the takeover. We negotiated mining contracts with them a decade ago. They gave our economy a tremendous boost. I've been yelling about that boost for years. Moving on. The regulators who held me hostage were a chatty bunch. Mostly filthy language and bragging about their blasters, but the leader said something interesting. He mentioned Project Failsafe. A hut emergency plan if their mining went wrong. That mercenary believed the huts have something to instantly stabilize Makeb. The huts only care about saving their own oily hides. We better grab this project failsafe before there's another quake. Glad you feel that way. Because you need to steal it. Assuming we can find it. Talaus City. The hut embassy database. Ilasov's right. Data on project failsafe would be stored in the hut embassy's computers in Talaus City. Unfortunately, that's under cartel control. We need Chief Herquil, Talaus City's former security commander. He and a few loyal men have a hidden camp outside the city. They'll get you inside the city and embassy. We'll head there now. Tell Chief Herquil to get ready. The huts control Talaus City and the surrounding area. You'll have to land a shuttle in the countryside. Expect plenty of regulators. Chief Herquil's camp is hidden at these coordinates. Don't die. You're all we've got. <laughs> 